Hi everyone. Today we are going to complete the intermediate math activity for April the 29th. And if you look at the outline, it tells you that you can find these, these math problems on pages 31 and 32 in your packet. So for you, it's going to look like this. Hmm. These are the four problems that are on page 31. One, two, three, four problems. And these are the four problems on page 32. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let me show you here. This is the first one. And one of the things I want you to think, think, think about before we begin is what operation are we doing for math today? Do you see the sign between the two numbers? Let's see what it says. It says plus, which tells us that we are going to do what? We are going to join together. We're going to add all together, add. So this is not in the outline, but if you are interested, you could watch a Brain Pop Junior video on basic adding. To find that, you just have to go to Brain Pop Junior and log in and go to math. And once you get to math, go to addition and subtraction under math. Addition and subtraction. And then you'll see there are several addition and subtraction videos, but I believe that the best one for this activity is basic adding. Basic adding. And in this video, Annie and Moby show some different strategies and tools for how to help you complete addition problems so that you can use to do your work. So that's a great option. Um, another thing that you can do to help you complete your work is to use toytheater.com and go to their number line. So if you go to teacher tools, which is this little tab here, you can go to number line and get this. <clears throat> and this is a really handy tool that we're going to use. I'm going to show you how to use it to do some of your math problems. Okay. Oh, and then, so let's go over here and begin. And I'm not, I'm not going to complete all of the problems with you um, because there's eight and that's quite a, quite a few problems. And I'd also like you to work on them on your own um, and see what strategies work best for you. So I'm going to do one of the problems that are set up in this horizontal or across the page format. And then I will do one um, in the vertical or up and down format. And then you guys can complete them and then maybe send me a picture um, of your completed work. Okay. All right. So we'll begin with this one. Make it a little bit bigger. In this problem, we have forks. And the situation is that Emily has washed how many forks? What's that number? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Emily has washed five forks. Let's match the number five. You can write the number five while I match it. Do you see number five? There it is. Good job. Okay, so now it says we have our plus. plus. Chris washes one fork. So we have just one. one. 
you can trace, write the number four with your writing utensil, I will match number one. And then we have an equals sign. Equals. When we are doing math problems that are written horizontally, there is an equals sign to tell us this is where we can find the answer or the solution to the problem. How many all together? Well, just like if you watch the Brain Pop Junior video, um, and if you did, I hope you just paused mine and then you watched that one, you can come back to me. Um, you can count the objects. Um, you can count on from the, the larger number, adding on the next, the smaller number to it. Um, or one strategy that they used was a number line. And that's where I'm gonna show you how to use this number line in toy theater. So I'm gonna click over. Okay, so we had that Emily washed five forks. So we're going to look here and we're going to find the number five and click on it and pull it up to our number line. And it's going to seat there from and show us that we are at five. And how many forks did Chris wash? One, just one. So we're going to find number one, click on it and pull it up. And now we are at what is our total? I see it. Five plus one equals how many? Great work. That number was six. Six. And we still have this green square, that means we're correct. If we wanted to check our answer, we could count our objects all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Splendid. Okay, so then you have another problem that's going to be set up in the same, or another several, three problems set up in the same way. Let's look at problems that are vertical. I think you have this one. All right. So we have that Emily washes 12 plates. So if we count these plates, we're going to get to the number 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There is 12, you can trace it. And if you, you know from the activity we did yesterday with our place value, that means it's one, 10, 10, and two ones, 10, 11, 12, 12. Let's match it up. You write it, 12. good job. I'm gonna make this page a little bit bigger just to see it better. Great. So if you want to use that toy theater number line, you still can even for numbers that go farther. And I'll show you how to find that, how to make that happen on this number line and how you would do it because we don't have a number 12 here. We do it by using that tens and ones strategy to make the number 12. Okay, are you ready? We know it's one 10. We pull that up and two ones for the number 12. Now we're at 12, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now let's go back over. And the second part of our problem this is also an addition problem. We have plus. plus. It is not written across the page from left to right. It is written top to bottom, up to down. So our number is going to be underneath. Our second number is underneath the first. What is that number? Chris washes how many plates? Let's count. One, two, 
three. Great work. Let's make this a three, shall we? I see it. I will match it while you write it. Uh-oh. Three. Try again. Three. Great. So if we want to um, put that three on our number line, let me show you how to do that. This took me a bit of figuring out because I was like, well, wait, we end here. That's only one more and I need to put three more. How does that work? So you take your cursor from your mouse and put it up here and hold, put left click and hold it. And you can move, if you see me moving my little pointer hand back and forth, here I'll make my little guy something else. Hmm, what should we pick? You gonna pick a minion? So we put it here. Hi, Minion. Oh, it still didn't work up there. So take your cursor guy, put him up here, and scroll over, and then you can see this direction, right? So we're going to add how many did it say? Three more plates. So let's find the number three. Three more plates, pop it up there. And where did we get to? So we have 10 plus two is 12. 12, that's for our first number. 12 plus three equals, where are we? What number does our min, did our minion find? What number is that? Hmm, I think minions would like that many bananas. Yes. Let's pop it over here. 12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent, excellent, excellent work. I am so proud of you. So you have some other vertical problems to complete. Use all the strategies and tools that you need to get your work done. Send me a picture when it's finished so I can see all of your great accomplishments. Do great work, stay safe and healthy, enjoy the day, and we will talk soon.